What's up guys, this is NLW bringing you another video. Now, before I get started, I do have my fan running over here. It's because it is warm in here, so I'm trying to keep it a little cool. Uh, but, before I do get started in this video, yes, I just wanted to make sure to let you guys know that I have my fan running. So, it's on medium, so maybe I should get a little bit more air in here or something. But, before I get started though, be sure to roll. Watch the whole video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit up the notification bell, um, check out my YouTube videos, I do have playlists, and be sure everything I said does help a lot, I always appreciate the support and feedback, of course. So, today, well, technically like we're, yeah, we're in the next day, but this year, if you guys, you guys, not know me back in the year of 2014. Now you're probably wondering why. What is this video going to be and why did I think of it? Or why did I make it? Well, as you all know, it's been, well, you guys don't know, but the Epic World Series has been out for 10 years. I started it in 2014, but something else also happened in 2014. But by the way, happy 10 year anniversary to the Gold series. Still love it. Still my favorite little Minecraft series. It's not really little. It's, I mean, 10 years is not little. It's a lot. But we're going to not talk about that. But I got something else to talk about. A I was 12 years old, currently 21. My birthday is going to be in four months. But this year marks 10 years of liking one specific character. And if you're thinking it's Blaze, or Tails, or really anybody, Ray, Bailey Hatcher, or just anybody, Well, it's none of those guys. It's none of them. Um, this happens to be my 10th year, and why, and the year that I went back to Maining this character a lot in Smash Bros. nowadays now, since Pichu has left the the mains list, and I made a lot of adjustments and included Joker in there, which I haven't played Smash Bros. Ultimate in quite some time. Really want to get back to that, but you know, it's ten years ago since this character, since I've loved this character. And, well, as you all know, this character in my top four all-time favorites has been pretty much an all-time favorite of mine, pretty much, for the uh, last ten years, and still is. This year marks my 10th year as a Turnlink fan. Yes, 10 years already. I can't even believe it's been that long. That's why that one image that I first used as my home screen on my first phone, I put that on this phone that I am recording with. I put it on as like a, a throwback to kind of that time. As I was 12 years old when I first liked him, like, and I'll be 22, of course. I mean, I have my age posted on my Twitter bio, but that's the only place that I have it posted. I don't have it posted here. I think I have it on Instagram, but I don't really use Instagram all too much. 
but 10 years of liking one character and have not gotten bored of him at all. He is still the character, well, he's still, still sets in the top four, but out of all of the characters that I have loved within the last 10 years, Toon Link is the only one to not have dropped outside the top four. Blaze has dropped out of the top four once. Daisy is still outside the top four. Now, Billy Hatcher and Ray, they're kind of lower down. But Billy Hatcher did move up to, I think, 19th. Because he's caught my eye again. And I watched Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg like over a month ago already. And I enjoyed it. And just looking back at my comment from Long Clay Archive, I'm getting a heart from them saying that, you know, thank you for playing through this game again. It's pretty much my request. Uh, but this video is not about Billy Hatch. This is about Toon Link. So currently, as I've been scrolling through social media here within these last couple of days, I have been seeing stuff about the next Smash Bros, possibly, and obviously the next Switch, possibly. There's a lot of rumors going around that they will introduce it sometime this year and give more info and updates, but a lot of people or speculating, is there going to be another Smash Bros. game? Well, me, I don't know. I, I really can't tell you. I, I really don't know. I'm just guessing like what I did with the Mario movie was just pure luck because that was only just a little teaser trailer. That wasn't the actual thing, so I didn't think they were actually going to make one, but they did instead, and obviously I enjoyed the movie. I actually watched it here at home on Amazon Prime. Instead of spending a bunch of money going out to a drive-in or a movie theater here in town. But I just watched it on Amazon Prime. And of course I thought it was good. But there's a lot of debates of certain characters making it, possibly making it, to not making it. And unfortunately, Toon Link does not follow those first two that I said. Unfortunately, along with Lucas, he falls in that category of possibly not making it. And a more condensed roster like what Brawl and Melee are. Now, as a as a ten year two link fan I am saddened to hear this news, but at the same time, I have Brawl, I have Ultimate, I have a bunch of the images that I have saved in my gallery to look back on for Toon Link and all the games that he's a part of. You know, I have all that to look back on and I'm just in my Toon Link plushie over here too. That my sister got me for Christmas two years ago. Or no, it was in 2023. No, it was 2022. But as a fan of Toon Link, it is sad to see that. I mean, that's just by going off of people, not by the company and the people who run it. And the people who made Smash Bros. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm going to be going to bed after this video because i got to get up early in the morning to leave for self that I'm not going to be here. I already mentioned that in my last two videos. But it, as a Toon Link fan, it does sting to see that because, you know, 
me playing melee in my young years as a kid. You know, I grew up around the GameCube and the PS2 and the original Xbox and Windows, like early Windows time period. Let's just say Sonic R days. Late Sonic R days. The, the little leapfrog. That one console that I can never remember when I played as a little kid. I grew up around some of the most iconic consoles. And even the PlayStation 1. I played on that too. Because how else would have I played Spiral 2 and 3? If it wasn't for that, I would never have played those two games. But back on the subject of Toon Link, it is crazy to think that it's already been 10 years since I first liked them. And to be honest, out of all the characters in my top 25, he is the longest active character that I've liked out of any of those other ones. All the other ones together, I mean, the next closest would probably be, would probably be between Ray and Billy Hatcher. Would probably be the next two. And I've liked them since... I want to say since I was in like 11th grade. So that's been about six years or so. And, you know, we all know that my favorite Legend of Zelda game is Wind Waker. You know, with Toon Link as the main character. I still want to get that game, man. I still do. It's gonna take a lot, though. Still... Still looking for a job, and I'm really hoping to get one. Soon. Because there's so many things that I want. Maybe I should have never spent all my money on Pichu's and stuff. If I knew Pichu was eventually gonna be out of the top ten and out of my mains list. But, you know, really what, it, I really don't know what started it with, with, uh, Toon Link. Maybe because, you know, when I first watched Wind Waker, it caught my eye. Um, Wind Waker just has a special place in my heart, yet I have not even played the game before. The only Legend of Zelda game I have physically have played is Link's Awakening down there on my TV stand for the Switch. And on my first attempt, I beat it. <laughs> I beat it. I mean, it's not, it doesn't typically fit in with the categories of gaming that I'm usually with used to, like, racing, fighting, and platforming, but it does have a good sense of adventure, and the biggest reason why, like, Minecraft, for example, is because it's adventurous. You get to go anywhere you want, you know? I've always have loved going to different places across the country, you know? I've, I've been to Houston, I've been to Chicago, I've been to Vegas, I've been to Minneapolis, yeah, I've been to, Ra I've been to Rapid City, I've been in St. Louis, I've been in Kansas City, you know, I've been in Dallas before too, so, and Oklahoma City, there's so many cities that I've been to in my life. And heck, even Anchorage. I've, I've been to Alaska before. But 
Toon Link's games just have the sense, well, Legend of Zelda in general, it holds a special piece. It different from Minecraft, but yes, Legend of Zelda games, they are adventurous. You get to go to different places. Personally, as much as I love, love Minecraft and how much I love to play that game and have still been trying to get my way back into maybe connecting with servers, I prefer Legend of Zelda more because it just feels so open. There's so much adventure, there's so much to do. And Wind Waker is just one of those games where I'm just like, I want this game so bad. Because I've watched the game on YouTube like two or three different times. I've loved Toon Link for ten years. And I've always mained him in Smash Bros. Well, I've never always mained him in Smash Bros. But I've mained him for about half the time that I've liked him. Maybe a little, maybe add a year or two to that. Plus Brawl. But there's just so much that I could get out of, you know. Legend of Zelda games seem like they're so much fun to play. But the Toon Link related ones just call my name. I want to fulfill my experience with adventure and also see Tetra as well. And the exploration portion of the game. You know, going to these different places all over. Finding different treasures. You know, Legend of Zelda is not always a series I've been around and have not typically have liked before. But really, ever since I've loved Toon Link, it's really gotten me into the series, pretty much. You know, I've watched all of his games, plus Hyrule Warriors Legends. I've watched all of his game-related games. You know... Heck, there was even a time where, you know, I don't really like talking about professional Smash Bros. too much on this channel, or really anywhere. But I've even looked up some of the best Toon Link players, and honestly, I don't mind it, you know. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, I've never attended one before, but or have done one, or even just been a spectator. But it's fascinating for me to see how many people do love Toon Link, you know. There have been some old friends of mine who love Toon Link. I don't know if they still do, but they did and at one point, so it's like, cool. And actually, I just came across a render not too long ago on Twitter. And I'm like, the amount of popularity this guy gets is fantastic. Chinling just holds a special place in my heart. Yeah, he sits fourth. He sits behind three of the best characters ever. Weavile, Knights, and Blaze. It's a hard pass for him to get even to get to the top three spots because he sits fourth. And the fifth closest, the fourth closest to Weavile would be Daisy. Or Tetra, whichever one. I'd have to look at the things. Toon Link, either way, is well ahead of either of them. But this. Nobody really knows why Toon Link is such a favorite of mine. Like, as I currently am talking about it right now, 
But back in those days, mid 2010s, I never really talked about them. Because, well, I was not really active on social media at the time. Believe it or not, I really was not. I didn't have Twitter. I didn't have Instagram. I didn't have Snapchat. I didn't have TikTok. I didn't have any of that stuff. Heck, I didn't even have a YouTube channel at the time. All I had was a Facebook. I didn't really talk about Toon Link. I really kept it to myself. But, you know, I have hundreds of Toon Link images saved in my gallery. You know, I've watched all of his games. I've been a fan of his for 10 years. I've talked about him a little more on Twitter, um, more than what I started out with. I've talked a lot about him more on this channel, on this YouTube channel. I talk about him more on this YouTube channel more than I do social media, so. If you're going to catch me finding me talking about him, it, it's going to be here. More or less. Twitter, like I did uh, yesterday evening, I talked about, you know, how Wind Waker was really the first game to kick it off with how much I really like Toon Link and how it just really started and stuff. Like, it's crazy to think. Ten years. And to think I was only just 12 years old at the time. I didn't even, I don't even know if I had a phone yet at the age of 12 now that I think about it. I don't even think I did. I, I didn't even get a phone until next year. So I've liked to like even before I had a phone. So you can imagine how much I really love him. Even before I had a phone. Want to know why? Because Smash Bros. was the first thing that I seen before I had a phone. My brother played as him a lot. Obviously nobody really plays ball. I'm really the only one who plays Smash Bros anymore. Just honing my skills and just getting better and better, you know. Proving all the people wrong that I can compete well. Even though I don't look like it, but I, I, I can. You know. If you wanna come, come play me. You gotta come find me first. But I am not telling you guys where I am from. Or live. Because. Private information. Unless you're one of the hundreds of people who battle me on Smash Bros. Okay then you probably have come across. Either. Weavile 20. Um, it was. Pichu underscore 27, I'm pretty sure. If you've come across that name, that would have been me. The Weavile name came way after I was done playing online. If you found that name, Pichu underscore 27, that was me. Then you've probably have faced me before. But I did play as Toon Link in some of those rounds, but not all of them. When I ever get a chance to get back to, you know, getting a job again, hoping that whatever place takes me and treats me better, it actually schedules me more times, I could buy more for the membership and I could continue playing online as much as I'd want, and I'd be playing as Toon Link. I believe I already changed my picture on my tag to Toon Link already. I'm pretty sure I already did that. Now, originally, one of the first names that I had on Smash Ultimate was... Toon Link related. It's Toon Link 27. Of course. 27. Very common number for me. <laughs> you know why? Go check out my Twitter. You'll find it there. In my bio. Somewhere. You'll know why that number is such so important to me. 27. 
but that was before. That was just as I was beginning. You know, my sister was training me, helping me understand Ultimate better. My brother was my trainer pretty much for Melee, Brawl, for so many years straight. My sister was my trainer for Ultimate, and I am literally a dominant force that anybody plays. I am... Even with one life left, and you still have multiple lives, I'm still a threat because I can make comebacks happen like that. Like, I'm not anybody you should ever count out. Even if it's a local tournament. Never count me out. Now, when I played online, I did attend a few tournaments. Um... But I was more or less more into the quick play and the spectating and predicting. I didn't really bother with the tournaments, to be honest. I didn't really mess with those. But I don't remember how many victories I nabbed with Toon Link. I think I nabbed over almost 50, I think. I don't know. I have to look again. Ever since I've been off of online, I really haven't paid much attention to my stats and stuff. But those stats are very important to know, too. That's like kind of a reference as well. Pichu was Pichu. He obviously battled the most times. But, you know, Pyramithra got a couple. Toon Link got quite a few. Daisy I didn't use. And Lucas I used just for one. But, Toon Link just, he wasn't the first character that caught my eye. It, it took me a long time to realize who he was. Actually, when I had Brawl, when we had Brawl, which we still have the same copy of Brawl now as we did when we first got it. So we still have our very original first copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl still here and it still works and our Wii still works unfortunately subspace and mystery is the opposite and every time I try going into it it just says the game disc cannot be read it's old we've had it for a long time but Toon Link was not a character I looked at being a main ever like he really wasn't he was more for my brother for me Sonic, of all characters, was my number one main at the time. Interesting choice, but that's how it was. It, it took me a really long time to catch Toon Link's, Toon Link's eye. It, it really did. But, really just ever since 2014, I love Toon Link so much. Made him in Smash Bros., Watch all those games. I talk about them a lot more. I'm more open about it. You know, I have a plushie over here, like I mentioned earlier in the video. You know, Toon Link is just going to be a character that I'm always going to love, no matter what. Even if he somehow is out of the top 10, which is highly unlikely to happen. He will still be one of my all-time favorites, despite being in that position. I'm just going to let you know, he's never dropping out of the top four, ever. He's not. That ain't happening. I promise you that. I have thought about, well, really haven't done a lot. You know, a Toon Link Amiibo would be pretty cool as well. Maybe something else Toon Link related, I'm not sure. Maybe if there's a, I don't think there's a Jack specific figure, I might have to look, but I really don't think so. But, you know, Toon Link and Knights are pro, and pretty much them two and Weavile are pretty much the three characters I pretty much talk about the most. Blaze I still talk about, but not very often. 
I mean, Blaze is still a character I really like, too. But, I mean, you never know. There might be a figurine of him somewhere. I know there's gotta be an amiibo, too. I'd love to get my hands on one. I know I have my daisy one right over there on my bookshelf. <laughs> I don't know if the camera's paying far out enough to actually visibly see it. I don't think so. But, 10 years, Toon Link, hopefully, gonna make another 10. It'll be 20. 20 years. Already made 10 years happen. Let's make 10 more years in the future, from now until 2034, when I'm in my 30s. <laughs> so, let's make it another strong 10 years for him. I hope to keep it that way. Who knows, he may be the only character I may end up just talking about in my long-term future of my life. And video gaming career, I guess. I mean, I don't make money off of it, but I mean, I YouTube all about video games and play them, so I pretty much make it a career of mine. A small little hobby of mine that I enjoy doing. But anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to talk about. I gotta get to bed because I got play. I got place to be tomorrow or today. I'm gonna be gone all day, so I'm not gonna be here at home to do anything. Maybe I might bring one of my plushes along. I'm not sure. I know one time when the cats were in here, and we were, me and my family were playing uh, on the switch. Cats got after the tag and it's all clawed up. It was because of the cats. Thankfully, they didn't actually tear Toon Link up. I would have been so mad. I would have been so sad because I have a feeling he was the only Toon Link plush that was left at Walmart. I would have been so bummed. Otherwise, I would have. I probably wouldn't have him, and I probably would have to order one online somewhere on a shopping website. And I don't, I didn't want to wait. The Link is one of my all-time favorites, and that's how it's always going to be. Pretty much have merch for three of my top four characters. Still hoping to get one of Knights soon. Or maybe a plush, since I practically collect them nowadays, just like I do with rocks and coins and Pez stands and... I mean, pretty much games as well. Um, but that's really all I've got for this video tonight. I mean, I mean, it's what you would expect. Toon Link. This video is all about him. I hadn't made a Toon Link video in more than a year. Probably almost two years was my last Toon Link video that I made. So it, it was due for another video at some point. For sure. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit up the notification bell. Helps out a lot. Uh, follow me on Twitter, the Great Sinees. Check out my YouTube videos. I do have playlists. And uh, be sure to do everything you said. It does help out a lot. I always appreciate the support and feedback. So with that, this is NLW saying. See you guys later.